Hello guys, welcome to Web Designing HTML CSS course. My name is Vaseem and today we are going to start our lecture number 20. Before starting the lecture, I will request to everyone, please subscribe my channel, like my videos and share my videos with everyone so that everyone can get this knowledge and make their own websites very easily. Now let's start. As you know, this is our website that we have created this website in the HTML CSS. Now today we are going to create the content for any one page. In the last lecture, we have created all the pages. Now today, I will create the content for the contact us page, right? You can see this is the contact.html is here. Here I will create the content for the contact us page. I will create a form here, right? How I can do this? Let's start. First of all, what I will do, I will open contact.html. So this is my folder where I have created all the pages. This is contact.html. I will open this in the Dreamweaver. So this page is open in the Dreamweaver. Now I have to find the div where I have to work. So this is the div. These are the images. You can see these images, right? And uh, this one, these links are here. So this is the tip that where we have to do the work. Just to check whether I'm on the right position or no, I will write here something and I will refresh my browser. Here you can see we are on the contact.html and I can see this div here. Now, what I will do is here, I will write first of all contact heading like I will write here h2 and in between I will write here contact I will save this and refresh my browser here you can see the heading is here but this div is disturbed it's moved from its original location why it has moved let me tell you this thing I have told you whenever in the HTML CSS in the main div you are creating divs you have to write the width and height let me explain you this thing again for you this is our main div right and uh, let me remove the spaces for you just for your understanding this is the one div this one is the second div where I'm doing work now and this is the third div so in the main div we have created three divs this is main div this one is the inner first inner second and inner third div so whenever we are going to create inner divs we have to define the width and height for all the divs in the css i have defined the width for this but i have not defined the width and height for this div so for this purpose what i will do is in the CSS, I will copy this class of this div and in the CSS, what I will do, I will write this CSS after this content. This content, let me show you. This is the main div CSS. So after this, I will write here this one. I will write dot home content right and here what I will do I will write the CSS here first of all I will write float left whenever you are going to create the inner divs every time you have to write the float left right and uh, here I will write width my total width is 990 total width is 990 and 200 width is for this sidebar and 200 is for this sidebar so remaining is 590 400 is occupied so I will write here 590 pixels I will save this refresh my browser here you can 
see as I put the width now it's become on the original position the sidebar is now on its original position just I have to put the width now what I will do I will do I will write here text align center why I write here this text align center because I want this text in the center in this area here you can see now my heading is in in the center like you can write anything here you can write here get a quote or contact us it's up to you what you want to write here now heading is complete in the contact dot html i will write here the html for the form right right here right whenever let me tell you one thing very important whenever you are going to write the css or html for the form in the case of html you will write here form right because we want to submit our values like name email address i want to submit so that's why i will write everything in the form here i will write label label is used for uh, the text what i want to write like uh, i will write here first name these are all things i have uh, told you in my first lectures of html's lecture number three four five six seven eight nine is very important for this purpose if you will do not understand anything you can comment me i will answer your questions now i will write here let me show you first the output here you can see first name is showing here now what i will do i want the input so i will write here input type is text because i want text i want to take the text from the user so that's why i write here type text and here i will write id id mean that uh, how i can control this input with the help of css so i will write here id like uh, these are the indentation ids are showing here but these are i cannot use these ids if i have create a new id in the css then that will be appear here that id i can use so i will write here like uh, contact input right i will save this refresh my browser here you can see the input box is created and you can input anything here right now i will put this word css on it first of all i will copy this and i will paste it here like first name i will write here last name and uh, i will put here email address right and here i will write message for the message i will not take the air right here input i will write here text area right text area opening tag and text area closing tag now for this what i will do i will write here write something or uh, what you want to write here like uh, let me write here the placeholder let me also tell you that how you can put the placeholder i will write here write something or i can write here message okay write something right and uh, what i will do is what i can do else let me first of all save this and uh, show you the output here you can see it's looking not good 
so we can do this or we can set this with the help of CSS for this purpose first of all I will write here br tag why br because after first name and input I want to go to next line in the same way I want to go next line and in the same way I want to go next line I will save this refresh my browser here you can see now what I will do is I will write the CSS but uh, for this text let me open the CSS trial.css here I have to write the CSS for the CSS I will write what let me show you the in contact.html as we have right here the ID contact input I will copy this because I want to set the input this input box first so I have copied this ID I will paste it here because that is ID so I will put here hash sign right and here I will write my all the CSS just to see you the best things so what I will do is first of all I will write here with I will write here 200 pixels I will save this refresh my browser here you can see the width is increase now now what I will do I can write here like uh, border now I want to change the border color this border color how I can change this I will write here border like I will write here one pixel solid and I will write here we we'll choose the color like I will choose this color I will save this refresh my browser here you can see the border color is changed now now what I will do is I will write here a very attractive property which is called box dash set shadow what it will be let me show you first I will write here for uh, this one pixel and uh, I can write here like 5 pixel here I will write 5 pixel next right here uh, gray and I want this inside so I will write here inset first of all I will show you the output then I will explain this box shadow property here you can see what I am doing is you can see I am putting the shadow inside but before that let me put here height like uh, I will put here height 25 pixel I will save this refresh my browser here you can see this now if I will let me show, uh, tell you the box shadow this is box shadow property if I am not going to write here inset then the box shadow this box shadow will be outside of the text or of, uh, will be outside of the input now here what I will do is um, I will if I will put a 0 here then let me show you the results here you can see now it's looking good so we have to write here three attributes like one is for the right top bottom and left right so this is the ratio that what you want to see see the color inside the 
input type so i will put it at zero and here i will write here border radius like uh, i will write here border dash radius right so what is the border radius i will put here 5 pixels i will save this also what i need i need the margin bottom margin bottom right i will write here 10 pixel i will save this refresh my browser here you can see it's looking very good we can also put here the padding why i put the padding here let me tell you this thing also i will write here padding like 5 pixel i will save this because my text is starting from this gray line i have put the padding now you can see the text is not starting from there so i think we should put the height okay 25 is okay now you can see this is looking good but you can see right left it says not in a one line how we can put this in a one line let me tell you this thing now for this purpose what i will do is i will write here after this i will control my label so how i can control the label i will just put here label i will write here width 200 pixels and i will write here display inline block we use this property when our width is not implemented right so we will write here block or inline block inline block mean that i want to see this thing in a one line these two things in one line right i will refresh here you can see first name last name and your form is looking very good very nice now the remaining is what this one so for this what you will do is simply you have to do what as you have write this for your input you will write here comma and you will write here text area i will save this refresh my browser here you can see your text area is ready now what i want i want this text area like uh, you have seen in the forms the height is increased for this purpose what we will do is in the html i will write here style and i will put here height this is called inline style i will save this refresh my browser here you can see you can write anything here right it's looking good now now this message text is should be here for this purpose i will also write here style again i will write this thing vertical align top i will save this refresh my browser here you can see the message text is on the top now i want to check whether i am on the container or no i will show you control you have to plus control plus minus control minus key and when you will click control plus right you can see we are in the container click control zero you will be on your hundred percent way of the browser now 
the remaining is just to create the button how we can create the button for this purpose in the form I will write here input type button right so also we can write here the value what I want to show value button or I can write here submit this is the name what that will be sh shown on the button and uh, here what I will do is I will write here class let me name it as PTN right now refresh my browser you can see the button is here but before that I will put here BR as I put in all the inputs after the input you can see BR BR here you can see the button is showing here now what I can do is I will change the background color and button style and I will put it here how I can do this in the CSS after the label I will write here button class the button class we have created here dot btn so I will write here dot btn and here I will write the CSS for button so what is the CSS for the button let me show you first of all I will write here like for try I will save this refresh my browser here you can see button is on the right side I want my button at this place so for this purpose I will write here margin right so I will put here like 60 pixel I will save this and refresh my browser here you can see so I will also write here 5 pixel more 65 so here you can see I think I should write here 75 okay all right I will write 85 no it's like this now I will change the background color like uh, for this purpose I will write here background color and uh, I will choose this color from here I will save this just to show you this thing the background color is changed now I want the text color change for the text color I will write here white and also I will write here border like uh, one pixel solid and uh, I will write here color word this one right I will save this refresh my browser here you can see the button is looking almost good but we will do what I will put the width and height because button is too much small so I will put here width like uh, I will put here width 100 pixel and I will put the height like uh, you can see 25 pixels I will save this here you can see button is looking very good so as I put the border so border radius in all these fields you can see so I will also put the border radius here so for this purpose I will write here border radius like uh, 5 pixels I will save this refresh my browser here you can see now in this way our contact us page is complete you can see so whether I'm on the container or not let me show you this thing also we are in the container you can see right so contact page is complete this is for all today if you do not understand anything you can comment me I will answer your questions
if you like my video please thumbs up my video subscribe my channel like my videos and share my videos with everyone so that everyone can get this knowledge and make their own websites very easily thank you so much